Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking on Clad and Clyde's MTG. Today, we got some new art that was leaked at Sh... Dan, did they go? No, actually, uh, Rosewater uh, shared some leaks at San Diego Comic Con um, this last weekend, which was kind of odd. He didn't take any questions or nothing. He showed the art and then uh, just kind of said deuces and was out. Very interesting. So there's a lot of speculation going on. It's probably all part of the hype train. Um, and also, too, I'm pretty sure that the last thing Wizards wants to do right now, or anybody who works for Wizards, is A, admit they work for them. B, have to answer any questions revolving how piss poor they run their company. But anyway, with that all said, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, if you subscribe, keeps the channel sponsor free. And moving forward... We will look at the new art. I'll give you some insight on what people are saying it looks like, what I think it is. Again, it's the favorite thing in the world for everybody to do, which is just make shit up and not care what anything's going to really do, say, or what the outcome is. So anyway, let's get into it. So our first piece of art comes right here. So it looks like... Uh, this individual is driving a carriage. You can see at the bottom, which is also very important, um, trademarks. Well, I'll tell you why later. Uh, but it's the Wizard of the Coast. Uh, Xavier Charo wrote, uh, drew this one. Uh, it looks like a carriage driving a bunch of undead. And if you think you recognize this guy, it's probably because you do. Uh, this is old Rustavon, although it looks like a younger version of him. So... That's kind of weird because are we going to go back in time? That's not really what we do, but I mean, whatever. Maybe it's a younger version. Hell, who knows? Uh, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about this little guy right here, old Rustin, uh, you know, the legendary human creature peasant. Um, he's not driving anything here. It looks like he's, uh, let's just say, a witch doctor of shorts. Um, or the old snake oil salesman that we used to see back in the Western movies. Uh, you can see he still has his lantern, so maybe he lost his carriage or something. It's very interesting that there's lots of undead bones, or maybe he's picked up a carriage. Um, they say this is a younger version of him, but if I, I mean, if you look at it, it doesn't look... To me, it looks like he got cleaned up and, uh, I want to say he went straight, but there, there's, uh, undead guys in the back, so I don't, I don't think he's, uh... Yeah, but anyway, so we're going to get uh, a revisit this guy, which is kind of cool. He, he never really did a whole lot in the set, but I like it when they bring characters back like this. So, And then moving on, next we have this little beauty here that was put out. Again, uh, this is by Jasper, uh, just Wizards of the Coast. <clears throat> People are speculating this is a Laurel Wind card style art, um, and mainly because... Jesper here has been known for drawing uh, several cards from Lorwyn, and his art style kind of fits that genre. Um, so that's what they're guessing. Uh, for me, <clears throat> it looks like a lot of gooses other than the one extremely large goose. Um, but hear me out. If you look down here at the bottom, these are like golden eggs. Get it? The goose that laid the golden eggs. Uh, that could kind of be, you know... Uh, fairy tale style art. Maybe the goose that lays the golden eggs in this per portrayal has seven heads, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Um, maybe this is from the fairy tale set, which I'm uh, having a brain fart. Oh, Throne of Eldraine. Uh, it kind of kind of looks like too, like maybe this is the beanstalk in the back. This is the top of the beanstalk. Um, I don't think we're gonna go back to Lorwyn anytime soon. I, I just don't think that's gonna happen. We do know that we are going back. Um. Oh my God, I'm having another brain fart. It is too late tonight for me to be doing this. Um. Throne of Eldraine. We do know we're going back to to Eldraine again. Um, so this is probably, my guess, art from Eldraine. Also, too, Eldraine does have the one green, you know, goose that makes mana. But anyway, moving on. 
Next we have this interesting art here. Um, no one's really said anything about it per se, although I think this again leans toward the L. Drain style art, fairy tales, you know, uh, wolf, a mouse. I mean, maybe the bug means something, I don't know. But um, this gives me more Eldraine vibes as far as fairy tale style, much like the goose. So I think, again, this is an Eldraine piece of art. And to be honest with you, this may be Ixalan. It may be Eldraine even. Uh, more of a darker side of Eldraine, right? So, and then moving forward, we have this interesting picture here. Um, people have said a lot of things about this and a lot of different areas. Um, I mean, if we just use some common sense about what we know is coming up, uh, this looks like Ixalan to me. Someone said Ravnica and some other weird places, but we know we're going to the throne. We're going back to Ixalan soon. So for me, this is an Ixalan card. It has to be. This looks more like a planar lens, even though it looks like a camera. Uh, that looks a lot like Ixalan in there. The colors look like Ixalan. You can almost see the hat looks very much like a pirate beard, the whole nine yards. Uh, I think this is an Ixalan card. Um, so I think so far we've seen a lot of Ixalan and uh, some throne. So I, I think that's where all these pictures are going. Um, for the most part. So as we move on, we have this interesting picture here. Um, so this looks kind of like a vampire, maybe an assassin. Uh, it's got blades. It really does have more of a Innistrad kind of vibe. However, um, as with most things in fairy tales, like the Brothers Grimm, this could be more of a grim style of uh, throne, like maybe Wilds of Eldraine, right? Because um, maybe in the wilds there's assassins or something. Who knows? Um, however, I wouldn't mind going back to Innistrad again. Innistrad's always been a fun set for me. I've always liked opening it, even though it's not normally worth a whole lot. It's fun to open. I love the themes. I love the whole genre and vibe it has, so that's always cool. Next, moving on, we have this here. So the cool thing about this one is if you look at it, here's where you look down here. You see the Wizards of the Coast logo, but it also says M-E-E. -E. So this is not Ixalan. This is not Eldraine. Um, this is probably Lord of the Rings. First giveaway, uh, Sauron's white hand right here. These are goblins. It looks like an orc. These could easily be the Riders of Rohan. Um and if you think about other sets that are coming up soon, we know a new collector set of Lord of the Rings is coming out with new art uh, toward Christmas time. And I'm going to guess this is going to be one of those cards that's going to be in there. Um, but I really don't. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they've already milked this one to the bone and I don't think it's going to go anywhere, especially since there's. Probably not going to be any serialized cards in this. I just don't see how they're going to sell it. But that's probably what this is from, and the art is okay. Next we have... Uh, yeah, there's a good close-up of the white hand on the Urukai or orcs, or whatever you want to call them, goblins, of Saruman. So, here we have a picture of a hydra with a beautiful young lady. Um, you can see there's a temple in the background, lots of greenery. Um, everybody's first thought is this is Theros. Maybe. I know Theros is known for Hydras, but there's Hydras in other sets as well. This could easily be Wilds of Eldraine, um, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I mean, it could be Ixalan. Uh, we are going back to Ixalan, right? So... This could easily also be Ixalan, and it does look like it because you can kind of see the temple, uh, the temples here. There's kind of the Aztec pyramid in the back, which is very Ixalan-ish. Um, so I'm going to call this one as an Ixalan card, and we'll see how, how close we get there. And then we have 
this monstrosity. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Um, they call him Skull Guy. He's got a dinosaur for an arm, a flaming sword. There's giant bat creatures in the background. He's standing over top of lava. He's got like tiger feet, a dragon tail, maybe a, a dinosaur arm. Um, if I was to say anything, and you're probably gonna laugh at me, because I honestly don't know. This almost reminds me of Warhammer 40k in some wild imagination. Um, or, hear me out, this could also be Ixalan. If you guys remember, Ixalan is kind of based off Aztec Mayan kind of mythology. And they have some really wild crap like this as like their gods and demons or whatever. And we do know Ixalan was really big with dinosaurs. And, you know... This kind of looks like the headdress uh, of that kind of Maya slash Incan culture. So, could be Ixalan pretty easily, I think. Um, uh, uh, for what, though? Lord only knows. This is this is something. Don't know what, but it's something. So, there you have it. There are the seven new pieces of art that they got spoiled at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, art is pretty good. I do like it. Um, some of it's kind of wild. Um, but hey, it's very interesting to have these kind of sneak peek spoilers with nothing to go with it. Um, it's kind of cool and it does kind of suck, but at the end of the day, at least they gave us something, right? Uh, they're doing pretty, pretty piss poor on the hype trains. You know, Lord of the Rings was pretty much the, the, uh, easy mode form. And now I don't know what they're going to do to try to get people in the mood again, especially with the debacle from Commander Masters that everybody's already upset about. So, uh, with all that said and done, thanks a lot for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, be kind. And as always, hope to see you across from the game table.